Hi everyone, Francis here, and welcome to Allied Vision Answers. Today, I want to find answers to the second key question you should ask yourself when choosing a machine vision camera. What interface should I get? I'm going to be calling on Jan Lemke, application engineer in Arnsberg, Germany, and he's going to help me answer a few questions to figure this out. Hi, Jan. Hi, Francis. Jan, can you explain to me what a camera interface is and why is it so important? Sure. The interface is a connection between the camera and the host, which most likely is a PC. The camera transmits the image data through the interface, but the PC also controls the camera over that interface. It's a two-way communication. The interface is one of the first questions to ask when selecting a camera, because it has huge impact on the overall performance of your system and its speed. Why is that? Well, each interface technology has its bandwidth limits. So the choice of your interface is critical on how much image data, how many images of how high resolution you can transfer to your host. This is a key factor in most vision application system where you want to perform a vision inspection tasks as fast as possible. Okay, but why not just take the interface with the highest bandwidth and make it a unique standard? Unfortunately, that's not that easy. There are other factors that must be considered. For example, cost, cable lengths, or the ability to network multiple cameras within a system. Cable length is often an issue. Sometimes the camera needs to be several meters away from the host. Not all interfaces support that. Each interface has a strength or weakness. So what interfaces are available and what are their pros and cons? I focus on the four camera interfaces a light vision offers, which are also most popular in the machine vision market. Firewire has been an industry standard for many years. It's also known as IEEE 3094. It's easy to configure, includes power supply, and it's particularly well suited for multi-camera systems. However, it has a quite limited bandwidth up to 800 megabit per second, and cable length is also limited to a few meters. Gigavision is a machine vision standard for gigabit ethernet. You can bridge up to 100 meters with just one cable. Because Ethernet is a widespread standard in the IT industry, components are easy to source at an affordable cost and it's well suited to network multiple cameras in a system. Power over Ethernet is supported by more and more cameras, but you need an appropriate interface card on the host side. Gigavision has a slightly higher bandwidth than Firewire, 100 megabytes per second. USB 3 Vision is a machine vision standard for USB 3. With its high bandwidth of 350 megabytes per second, you can transmit high resolution images at high frame rates. Like Firewire, it's plug and play, powers the camera over the interface cable. Components are easy to source and affordable because USB 3 is an IT and consumer electronics standard, but its cable length is limited to a few meters. Camera Link is a high speed interface, up to 680 megabytes per second in its fastest version. However, the cable length is limited to less than 10 meters. Another drawback is that you need a frame grabber to connect your camera to the host PC, which makes the system more complex and more expensive to set up. You may hear discussions about other interface technologies, such as Cox Express or Thunderbolt. They might become relevant in the future, but today none of them has established as a standard in the machine vision market. What does that mean, standard interface in the machine vision market? That's a good question. The machine vision industry has created standardization committees to define the technical specification for camera interfaces. As a major camera manufacturer, we at Allied Vision are an active member in these committees. These standards include hardware and software specifications. For example, industrial applications require the plugs to be screw locked. The Gigi Vision and USB 3 Vision standards define the exact position of the screws to ensure compatibility of all cameras with all cables. More importantly, these standards also define the communication protocol between the camera and the image processing software. 
Gigivision and USB 3 Vision rely on the Genicam standard, which is the standard protocol in the machine vision industry. Choosing a Gigivision or USB 3 Vision camera ensures it will be compatible with most image processing software libraries. So, as you see, Gigabit Ethernet is not Gigabit Ethernet Vision and USB 3 is not USB 3 Vision. That's good to know. So, coming back to the four interfaces. So, I need to define what's important to me to choose the correct interface? Exactly. High bandwidth, long cable lengths, plug and play, power over interface and low cost. You can't have it all at the same time. You need to define what are the most important requirements based on your application. Do you really need to transport high resolution images with a high frame rate? Then USB 3 Vision or Camera Link might be the right choice. Is the camera located at the end of a robot arm, around 50 meters away from the host PC, you might consider to pick a Gigavision camera. If you are unsure what interface fits best for your purpose, don't hesitate to contact us. We would like to help you. Thanks, Jan. That was really helpful. Thank you for watching. I hope today's video helped you understand how to choose the right interface for your machine vision camera. If you want to submit any of your questions, you can do so at livision.com forward slash answers. Until next time, Francis signing out.